one of the eigenvalues of the given two by two matrix is lambda equals negative three, whereas to find any associated eigenvector. The eigenvectors of a matrix corresponding to lambda are the non-zero solutions to the equation where we have the difference of matrix A and the product of lambda in the identity matrix times vector x equals the zero vector where x is an eigenvector. Setting up this equation, we know matrix A is the given matrix and lambda is equal to negative three. So our equation is the difference of the given matrix, which is the matrix negative 53, 30, negative 157, minus, and then lambda is negative three, times the two by two identity matrix, times vector x, an eigenvector, must equal the zero vector. Simplifying inside the parentheses, we have the given matrix A, and then for minus negative three times the two by two identity matrix, let's write that as plus the matrix three, zero, zero, three. We still have times the eigenvector equals the zero vector. And now I'll go ahead and sum the two matrices. Negative 53 plus three is negative 50. 30 plus zero is 30. Negative 100 plus zero is negative 100. And 57 plus three is 60. Let's write vector x as the vector x1, x2. And let's write the zero vector as the column matrix with entries zero, zero. And now we'll solve by writing an augmented matrix where the first row is negative 50, 30, zero, and the second row is negative 100, 60, and zero. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done to save time. The first row is one, negative three-fifths, zero, and the second row is a row of zeros. Notice there's no pivot in column two, which indicates x2 is a free variable. The first row indicates that x1 minus three-fifths x2 is equal to zero. And again, because x2 is a free variable, we have x2 equals x2. Let's parameterize the solution by letting x2 equal t. So if x2 is equal to t, we have x1 equals three-fifths t. Now remember, an eigenvector can't be the zero vector, so we should make a note here that t can't equal zero. So vector x, the set of eigenvectors, are all the vectors in the form of t times the vector three-fifths one, again, as long as t can't equal zero. Or if we want to clear the fraction of three-fifths, we could let s equal five t, again, as long as s doesn't equal zero, which would give us the vectors in the form of s times the vector three, five. So again, we can say all the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equals negative three are all the scalar multiples of the vector three-fifths one as long as t doesn't equal zero, or all the scalar multiples of the vector three-five as long as s doesn't equal zero. Here we're only asked to give one eigenvector, so let's just let s equal one and give the eigenvector x as the vector three-five. I hope you found this helpful.